Hey everybody, it's Michelle, and I have my latest project that I created. It's a photo album, and I used with this one the um, Authentic Beauty Collection paper stack. Hold on. I'm going to move you out a little bit. Okay. And um, it holds a lot of photos. So I'm going to film this as best as I can. As best I can. Um, so anyways, everything that I use, this is just a Tim Holtz uh, frame die that I had. And then these are like recollections and stuff. Um, and I used... The, for the spine, I actually used real leather. Um, this was just an old skirt, leather skirt that I had picked up from the Goodwill years ago, and it's real soft, so I cut it to measure and used it for my spine. And then here I have um, a real cute little charm, which I think looks really elegant. And then I cut up these, um, you know, from trim and used it to bind it and then there's the back and I just added one of my Martha Stewart punches along the edge of the um, uh, binding and it even has these metal clips on the corners um, those are the Tim Holtz I spray painted them black um, so yeah there's a little stick pin there and this piece doesn't come out. I kind of wanted to leave that for the cover, but the inside frames do come out, and you can see the little book corner edges there. So let me take you on the inside. And um, so there we go. This is the first page. This is the cover, and um, I use this trim. This is a pocket, and I created this little photo album, and that's the photo collection beauty. And um, you open this up, and in here you can, I left this open so you could slide the photos up. So you'll slide the photos up inside this little frame right here. And it's all with the paper, and all of them will slide up from the bottom to put your photos in. So there's a little photo booklet, and then it tucks right in there. And then this page... Um, I used my corner punch from Spellbinders. I made this little tab so this holds that in place. You can put a photo here and then that will open to put also a photo here. And then this you can use to tuck a little photo in here and also up in there. Then that will open and all these are left open so you could tuck the corners of your photos. And then it opens that way and then this will flip up and you can tuck your photo the edge of your photo down there so it's for decoration and then that's the back of that flap okay so then that closes and then that gets back attached with that and then all of these pages have a good five by seven photo mat that pulls out and I will lay those down because I'm not going to put them back in on camera. Um, okay, so then this page, I kind of made them coordinating and these are just belly bands. These are magnetized so you can put a photo on and I will include a cutout pattern with this to be able to cut the picture if you want to put a picture on there or just leave it blank for journaling and those are magnetized onto the belly band. So there's two and then the photo mats just slide out like that. And there's that one. And then they'll tuck right back in. Oh, they're sticking together. So there, and then this page does the same thing. And this is magnetized as well. And you could journal on the back. Right there. So that comes off, and this is just a belly band with more frames, and it's falling apart. I'm doing this one-handed, well, two-handed, but I love this paper collection. Really pretty. And then there's the Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> Real pretty. And again, the tag pulls out. 
Okay, then this page, we'll do this page. I put this piece in here, but it does pull out. Of course, I won't be able to get it out on camera. This does slide out, so you could put a photo and use this as a journaling card, and it slides out through the top up there. So then this flips up, and to reveal that page, and then there's that flap, that side of it. Get it on camera so you can see. And then this page, and like I said, all these are big enough to tuck your photos in. Where am I? I blended in to tuck your photo corners in all those, so that's pretty. Then that closes, and these are all magnetized, and then that opens this way, and that reveals this page, and that side, and there's photo corners here as well, with that die, and on this side. So you can either glue your photos in or place them. And then opens again for the same thing. You can fit your photo corners in and display your picture right there in the middle. And again, a large photo in the center of that page. So this closes back up. And that closes up and it's magnetized. And then we go on to this page. And this opens up and it's magnetized. So that opens. And that reveals that. That's a punch that I got a long time ago and I couldn't, or a die, and I can't even tell you the name of it. I bought it at an expo, so I don't even know the name of it. But anyways, that folds up and that folds down. So you, there's a nice spot for a picture. It's pretty big. Um, then this is a pocket right there. That slides in and this is just a real pretty photo mat. That's the front and that's the back. So real pretty. And that's just from the paper collection. So I'll put that back in. I just love the way this page turned out. It's so pretty. Oh, and then these come out and they're, that's from the collection and they're just journaling spots. Journaling tags and they tuck right in there. Okay, and then again, the photo mat pulls out, and they're very sturdy cardstock. All right, then the next page, that's the spread. So we'll start with this page. Um, I used some velvet ribbon, and I had these Recollections epoxy stickers, and I just used the paper and cut it out, and I put a magnet on the back, so that holds that down. And then you lift this up. And then it just creates a water, uh, opens up to, to photos like this. So there you go. Whoops, and that actually goes down too. So it's kind of like an explosion box. And then this just opens up for some journaling. And you could journal right there on this tag. And it's magnetized, so it'll close. And it says beauty right there. I cut that out of some letters of the collection and cut out pictures of these little boots and added it. So there's that, holds that down. Then this page, uh, it's very hard to get in camera. I used some trim with beads and I used my Spellbinders dies, the card collector dies, the edgings. Um, that's an MFT Eiffel Tower die. So I can you open this and then you can, here's a little tuck spot and this is just for journaling. And you're the finest, loveliest, tenderest and most beautiful person I have ever known and ever, and even that is an understatement. So use that as a journaling spot. And then in the center, I it, this is another pocket and I created this tag and it has some eyelet trim and I just randomly stamped on the back. There's a tag, and then this is another photo mat. And then it tucks right back in the pocket. And you can add more photos in these pockets, too. So then that closes, and then the next page. Love this. This also, you can, there we go, slide that up. 
and take it out and journal on the back of it and replace it with a photo if you wish or a photo just slides right in there and then this lifts up with magnets of course and that's the other side of it and I think I didn't make that for a photo I used it as part of the decoration you can see so that lifts up and then oh no you can slide another photo no this could be a pocket for photos yes you can I don't know so then this is a just to place a photo that's to place a photo that opens up you can journal on this side you can actually get your photo on the edge of that piece right there and so that opens and then there's room for journaling here and then a nice big spot for a nice pretty photo it goes there so that all closes back up and then this is the back cover and I just used some MFT dies. I cut out flowers with my punches from the paper collection. I made this a really nice pocket and another photo album. So that's what it looks like, like that. And let me take you through this photo album. Little mini album in an album. And I just cut pieces out of the collection, glued them on the front. And this one I didn't use the frames, so you could just add your photos. And that's the back. So there you are. Oh, and then this tag pulls out to photo mat for the center. So there is <clears throat> that from the Beauty Collection of Authentique. I hope you like it. I am offering this is for sale. Uh, I will be list. You can email me here before I list it in my Etsy shop. I am reopening my Etsy shop probably by this weekend. It'll be all up and running. Um, but you can email me. My email will be in the description box below. If you're interested in purchasing this mini album, and don't forget, Christmas is coming, guys. So if there's somebody special you'd like to give this to, let me know. Uh, send me an email, and I will get back to you. All right, I will no do a video when all my Etsy shop is up and running with all my cards and mini albums in there. So I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, have a great day, everybody.